common condition that happens to males over the age of 50. It affects about 50% of the guys over 50, and then as you kind of go up in every decade, it affects 60% of 60-year-olds, 70% of 70-year-olds, and so on. And a lot of guys think that this is just part of normal aging, when in reality this is a condition that can be treated with either medicine or minimally invasive or surgical therapies. I'm Dr. Preston Smith, a vascular and interventional radiologist here at Midland Memorial Hospital, and today we're gonna to talk about a, treatment, a new treatment for benign prostate enlargement, or BPH, which is prostate artery embolization. The symptoms of enlarged prostate are all urinary symptoms. Uh, so guys will notice that they're going to the bathroom often, that their stream, their, their urine stream becomes weak, they may be waking up a lot at night, maybe disturbing their partner uh, because they're going to the bathroom a lot in the middle of the night. And they may notice something called urgency where when they have to go to the bathroom, they have to go right away. And it becomes a problem that, that affects many men and so that they start looking around for bathrooms all the time or they worry about traveling long distances. And it's something that constantly you know, becomes a big theme in their lives. So if you think you have prostate enlargement, uh, one of the first things that we need to do is to get a accurate size of your prostate gland. Most commonly, this is done with an ultrasound. So you can have an ultrasound uh, done through your abdominal wall, kind of like, uh, the, which is the most common way that ultrasounds are done, or you can have one done uh, transrectally. And this is either done in a radiology department or in a urology office. And then you can also have another study called a cystoscopy, which is a camera study that looks at your prostate from the inside. Once you have been diagnosed with an enlarged prostate, you have many treatment options. A lot of patients will elect to just take medicine initially. Uh, in most patients, these medicines will eventually fail, and then uh, they will be confronted with the big decision of what to do about their enlarged prostate. And as an interventional radiologist, I can offer a, a new treatment for that, which has a lot less side effects than the traditional treatments for enlarged prostate, and this is prostate artery embolization. It's a, it's a mouthful. Embolization is a fancy word for us blocking or plugging up uh, any artery or vein or whatever, whatever vessel we are in. And in the case of prostate artery embolization, we are blocking up the main artery uh, supply to the prostate gland. And this will really accomplish one thing, it will starve the prostate gland of blood flow and then the prostate gland will shrink. And it shrinks down over a course of a couple of weeks and then continues to slowly shrink out to three or four months. And this will result in several things. It will increase the flow of urine through the area of the prostate gland which is causing the weak stream. And then this will also help out all the other symptoms that are caused by uh, guys retaining too much urine which are having to go to the bathroom often, waking up at night, and having to go to the bathroom urgently, or having leakage of urine. Um, and this is, this is one of the only treatments that doesn't involve any, uh, any device going through the penis, any cutting of the prostate from the inside, or, or burning, or any catheter placement for an extended period of time after the treatment. Prostate artery embolization is one of the few treatments that does not cause sexual side effects uh, to the patients. Uh, it also doesn't cause uh, urinary incontinence, which is the leakage of urine, because after a lot of patients get treatment of the prostate gland with a minimally invasive or the uh, traditional TERP or transurethral resection procedure, they lose the ability uh, to hold urine as well as they did prior to the resection, just because some of the structures inside of the prostate gland are are uh, taken out or burned or cut away during the procedure. You know, prostate artery embolization is great for patients with uh, particularly enlarged prostates. Uh, they don't have many options. They really uh, will have a resection of the prostate or a complete removal of the prostate. So this procedure is an outpatient procedure. It doesn't involve a catheter. It doesn't cause sexual side effects. So for people with a particularly enlarged prostate, it's a great option. Um, in some patients that are diagnosed with prostate cancer and want one of the more minimally invasive treatments, it also helps downstage or downsize their prostate gland so that they can get these treatments instead of having to have their whole prostate gland removed. So for young guys that really don't want sexual side effects 
or for people that don't want a lot of downtime, it's an excellent procedure to choose for taking care of your enlarged prostate gland. If you think you have enlarged, an enlarged prostate gland and you want to know if you're a candidate for prostate artery embolization, you can schedule a consult with us. Uh, you can contact the Interventional Radiology Department at Midland Memorial Hospital and we can work you up and see you in a consultation, answer any questions you have, and if you have previously been diagnosed with an enlarged prostate, we'll get your records and see if any more workup needs to be done. And if you've had most of your workup done, you may not need any other tests done, maybe just some simple blood work uh, to make sure that everything lines up and you're a candidate for the procedure.